Good morning. Welcome back to the dog show. Hopefully, all of you had a great Christmas break. These past couple of days have been pretty busy as we have been getting back into the swing of things. Our winter sports teams have been getting back to what they do best after getting better over Christmas break. Here's Kira with more on that. Thanks, guys. Earlier in the week, the wrestlers went to districts. This week, they have their first home duel against the Lone Grove Longhorns. Come and support our wrestlers. Last week, the basketball boys and girls competed in the Black Diamond Tournament. The boys finished fourth against the Sterling. The girls played against Geronimo in the championship and fell short one point. This week, the junior high basketball are playing in the junior county. The boys lost against the Warika Eagles, and the girls are one and moving on. Next week, the high school county tournament starts Monday. Come and support your Bulldogs at the Comanche Gym. Here is Lainey with an interview with Coach Lavi. I'm here with wrestling coach, Coach Lavi, here for a couple questions. So far, how would you say your season is going? I think it's going good. Um, we might not be seeing all the wins we want to see on our record, but we're making improvements every time we get mat time, and so that's what matters most to me. Great. When is y'all's next tournament, and how are you feeling about it? Uh, we're at Medill this Friday and Saturday. We have junior high on Friday, and we have high school on Saturday. Um, it's a little bit of a drive, but I'm excited just to go get more mat time, and it'll be a good tournament for us. So it's a smaller school. Okay, perfect. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Bye. I'm here with wrestler Balen Jackson here with a few questions. How how would you say your season is going so far? Uh, it's going pretty good. Got a lot done. What are some ways that you prepare? Uh, just eating right, staying in the room, getting better. How are you feeling about your next tournament this weekend? Uh, I feel pretty good. Done pretty good this season, so I'm just ready to get out there. Thank you. Thanks, Lainey, for that interview. We now have an important announcement for eSports. eSports is now available for 6th through 12th grade. If you want more information, go see Coach Armsworthy. And here's some highlights from the past few weeks.
This past semester, the elementary started a STEM lab program, and Ms. Earnhardt will discuss more on that. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math, and we have several items in here for the kids to learn and play on. We have Osmos games. Osmos are our little reflective mirror devices that attach to our tablets. We have 24 tablets. We have VR reader watchers, um, M-Tinies, we have crickets, we have a simulation printer, heat press, a cup press, so we can make t-shirts, cups, key rings, earrings, coasters, whatever you want. Then we have a 3D printer, then we have our um, Spiro bolts. Our Spiro bolts in here. Okay. And then we have our cubelets that make robots. And then we have uh, little bits that are electronic devices. They run off motors and batteries. And we have maps to go with our Spiro bolts. And we are set up right now for pre-K to come in and use the Osmos. This is math related. How did the STEM lab come about? We began thinking about what we wanted to do once we went to a one-to-one -one computers in the elementary and what to do with our extra computer labs. So during the process, we got together with some of the teachers and we decided we wanted to add a STEM lab. So we wrote a grant with the K-20 Center, the Oklahoma Educational Technology Trust Grant, which provided us a $40,000 grant to purchase STEM equipment. At that point, we started training and figuring out exactly what we wanted to purchase with the grant money, and that's kind of how it came about, so. Thanks, Ms. Earnhardt, for the information on the new STEM lab. Now here's your forecast. That's all, folks. Until next time, LB10, signing off. See y'all next week.